Good morning, folks. Welcome back. John Petty Paul. Tuesday morning, the 28th day of June. Do we have the right of free speech and expression? Right to protest. A uh, gentleman dropped in the same evening away home from being at the uh, Atlantic Economic Conference in Atticanish, in Atticanish, uh, yesterday afternoon. They, uh, first, Tim Houston, I call him Terrible Timothy. Terrible Timothy, they snuck him in a side door. Stuck him in a side door. See, he doesn't go in any of the protesters, anybody that has a sign up less than complimentary to him and his, his pad, his buddy, Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau comes in with an entourage of about eight cars around him, Prime Minister. They take, uh, smugly and arrogantly walks in. Yes, him. Oh, McCarran. Potbelly pig. Pontius Pollitt. Call him what you want. And Glenhorn. Glenhorn. They, their tickets, by the way, folks, are $1,000 each. To, to be at the conference, it's $1,000 each. So... There may be others, but the, the guy specifically recognized Owen McCarran and Glenn Horn both being paid for their tickets by the municipality of the county of Anaganish. He's uh, in front of one of the buildings. Now, Eric and smug little cop comes up to him and tells him, quote, you can't be here. This is private property. I repeat this, quote, you can't be here. This is private property. He says, where is that written? This is university. And I'm going to point out, go on the other side of the parking lot. Uh, universities in Nova Scotia get at least $600 million from the provincial government in Nova Scotia. At least $600 million. And they're given total, complete discretion what they do with the money. Several generous donors at this university, St. of X, and again, more government money for special projects and buildings and so on. They think so. In the pure sense of the word, a university is public property. I don't consider a university private property. My house, your house, your office, that's private property. A university, by my definition, is public property. And one more thing at this conference. Very few of the people, with a few exceptions, they're all government types. 300, approximately 300 people registered at $1,000 per, per attendee for the conference started yesterday and goes on today, Tuesday, and wraps up tomorrow, Wednesday. So two and a half day, approximately, time span. Thomas Jefferson famously said, he who governs least governs best. I'm going to repeat that. Thomas Jefferson famously said, he who governs least governs best. And Milton Friedman, another hero of mine, said, if the federal government was in charge of Sierra Desert, within five years, the Sierra Desert would run out of sand. With that, and somebody this morning sent me a video put out by the County of Vatican Ish, and it just got me all keyed up. It's pure bullshit. Okay. Uh, do they believe in democracy or not? Uh, if if this is such a friggin' good thing, uh, amalgamation, consolidation, merger, dissolution, reconstant, constitution like can milk or something, uh, dilute it, uh, excuse me, evaporate it, carnation evaporated milk, then you add water again to reconstitute it. Uh, why not let the people vote? And I'm going to wrap up. It's the people. It's the foresters. It's the farmers. It's the fishermen. It's you, the hardworking viewers. You're the people that make the strength of the county and the town and the country in the province. Again, I repeat, it's the foresters, the farmers, the fishermen, you, the hardworking viewers. You're the people that generate economic activity in the county, the town, the province, or the country. With that, I got to go. All the best. God bless. Thank you. Bye for now.